going flat. It'll be flat in a few minutes. So Jeff is about to, Jeff sold his house and his shop, and uh, he's full timing in this rig. He was at a campsite which closed October 15th, so he's staying here for a couple weeks with us in his RV, and then he's heading down to Florida to open another shop that we're gonna set up down there. So stay tuned, we got another shop we're opening down in Florida. Um, this is a 30,000 square foot and a lot of concrete pavers, this is a lot, lot, of, lot of work. That's my latest acquisition for the team. It's a Dodge Diesel Cummins Turbo Diesel Dually that we're going to use to tow the rigs. Of course, we've got the F450 Dually in there and the 16s at work. We're selling the gas truck. It's coming up for sale. That's our tiny home. Christy and I live in this all winter down in Florida. This is a new trailer. 36-footer. 30, 34-plus of I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, it's not pretty good. I'm going to turn the track lights on. sharing this with you guys to show you with hard work and determination perseverance and faith a lot of hard work and dreams big dreams you can create anything in the united states of america it is possible it's still possible it's got to come from within i went to school became an interlocking concrete paver installer hooked up with the guys at the factory and bought 23 tractor chiller loads of pavers and it took me over a year with the help of some friends and some laborers I hired to build this paver driveway on the 52 acre compound. And here's what it's all about, faith. Faith in God, faith in yourself that you can make it happen. These are Hanover lanterns on the top here. They're, they're handmade in Vermont. And these signs are monuments. They're actually granite monuments that uh, are about six inches thick, black granite with a gold leaf. I had those custom made. One of my great accomplishments, I'm kind of pr obviously proud of. And this is a gift to the family and our friends. From hard work and perseverance. Built this place so the kids would have a safe place where they could ride their dirt bikes and grow up with their friends. And that's what they did. They've all grown up and moved on, but they come back. Maybe with the grandkids someday. I was driving to a job back when I still worked in the computer industry and saw a monument place that had these big giant lions here. So these things are huge. My bobcat would actually um, fall over. Just to give you an idea how big this thing is. Here's my hand right here. It, they're freaking massive. The bobcat would actually flip, flip forward. I had a counterweight to lift those. 
and these um, columns didn't exist at the end. I built the I built these columns specifically for the lions. Over here to the right is the orchard. We got apples, peaches, and pears over there, and then blueberries in the back. Planted all those. You can see the lights co coming on on the track. They light up two acres like daytime. There's 16 lights. up here at one point this was a full-on pro supercross track about seven or eight years ago or well, for a bunch of different reasons uh, it's uh, now just gently rolling hills when it snows here the snow refracts the light refracts and it lights up the whole field from these 16 poles these are actually 25 foot tall with four lights on each of them this is probably the best investment I made on the compound because the kids used to have a 10 o'clock curfew when they were little. We'd stay out here and, and uh, ride bikes. That's how they got so good. Junior, Junior and Jordan and their friends would stay out here and ride. Let's head back down to the fire. So to answer your question, Logan, how did I get where I am today? Well, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of perseverance and faith in writing down goals, making actual goals that you write down on a piece of paper, like this one right here. Write down your, your dreams and your goals, where you want to be five and ten years from now. And find your life's desires and follow them, whatever it is you want to do. If you're watching this channel, you probably love motorcycles. So find a way to get a career in motorcycling and an education to support that. You're going to want to definitely graduate high school, stay in school. Don't get messed up on, on, on drugs and booze like a lot of kids do. And uh, education, further your education, whether you go to college or not, which you should if you can and if you want to, if there's something in college that, that motivates you. I went to school for electronics. If I could do it over, I would have went for diesel mechanics or something <laughs> or else, but it worked out okay. And you can educate yourself by YouTube and books. You can go in the library, anything you want to learn about, unless it's motorcycles. There's not much in the library at, about motorcycles. That's why I'm starting a library at the museum. In fact, I've got hundreds of hardbound books and thousands of manuals. So I'm going to have an actual motorcycle library. But most of what you want to learn today is online. You can search it, Google search it. Educate yourself about the things you want to know that are going to allow you to do what you want to do in life to get where you want to be. So set some good big goals for you, yourself that will motivate you to work hard and get out of bed early and stay up late and have perseverance and work your ass off. That's how I got where I, where I am today. And with a lot of help from, from friends and, and family and people that stood by me on this journey. And you got to give everybody a chance. And some, some people are going to let you down, but in order to grow a business, 
you got to give a lot of people a chance. We've literally hired over 250 people since we opened the the project down at the museum, and well, people come and go. You got to give people a chance, and and some will be superstars that'll uh, take you farther than you ever could by yourself. But you don't know unless you give people a chance. But so, set healthy boundaries, and people let you down or cross you. Um, set boundaries and. That's something I might have struggled with in the past, but it's definitely key to success. Healthy personal boundaries around your time because there's only so many hours in a day. It's one thing we can't get more of. And stay focused on productive stuff. If you got friends that are bringing you down or they're messed up on drugs or drinking or doing stupid stuff or dishonest stuff, stay away from them. You know, honesty, that's my number one principle, I would tell you, is, is be honest and work hard. Have big dreams and a hope that it'll all come true and persevere and work your butt off. It's always darkest before the dawn. When you set big goals and dreams that people will materialize, God will send the right people to you to help make it possible. And try to find God's will for your life. How do you know if it's God's will for your life? Well, if you don't know what God's will for your life is, it's easy to know what it's not. It's not drinking, it's not drugging, it's not lying, it's not stealing. Just don't do all the bad stuff. You can fill your life with good stuff, good, positive, productive stuff. Educate yourself about the things you like. Spending time with family and friends. One thing I'd highly recommend doing is Google motivational videos. There's, there's, they come out with new ones all the time and, and sort them by views. Some great speakers in our time that are awesome at motivating might say something you need to hear. And read some books. There's a couple things I'd highly recommend. If you've stuck with me this, this far, grab a pencil and write this down. Read Anthony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. Or get it on CD. Or I don't know if it's on YouTube, but Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins, Awaken the Giant Within. And there, there's a lot of guys that came before him that he synergized everything some of the great motivational speakers of our time came up with into one pr easy program. Speaking of programs... Write this down too. Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, that's a huge, it's a college accredited course actually. At least it used to be. I don't know if it still is. But uh, Dale Carnegie. There's a lot of good spiritual teachers. Wayne Dwyer. I like Wayne Dwyer because he doesn't, for people that are having a tough time struggling with the God thing, he, he breaks it down into more of a um, power of the universe thing. But uh it's not everybody's, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm not a huge Bible thumber, but I, I do believe in God, and I don't go to ch church every weekend. Uh, I believe church is within us and around us in the way we, we act and treat people and what we do with the gifts that God's given us and try to lift other people up like I'm trying to do now with you. You asked, so this is what I'm telling you. I mean, there's a lot of major religions, and I don't like seeing them tearing each other apart, but that's what they do. Um, I like to believe there's God and and. Uh, God's will is for you to do good things and succeed with the gifts he's given you. And if you got a dream and it's a big dream and people try to hold you back from it, well, those aren't the people you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with people who will help you accomplish your dreams. And I've done just that. When I was building this pond here and doing a landscape, I took six months off work to do this and uh, just did nothing but work around the clock here on the farm. Unless you're willing to help me do this, I really didn't have much time for you. It's, it might sound selfish, but in order to accomplish great things, you've got to be dedicated and focused. And take care of yourself. If you can set up a, a really good program of eating healthy and working out so you're strong, strong body, strong mind. Start every day working out. Go to the gym. If you're a high school kid and you do that like Junior does, you're going to get strong. You know, if, if, if uh, you need help, there's lots of trainers out there. Get strong physically, mentally, and spiritually, and don't take shit from anybody. Set healthy boundaries. Uh, I, I spent seven and a half years in the dojo and 40 years in the gym. At one point, I could I could bet. The dojo is a, is a martial arts. I was a martial arts instructor. Kenny got his black belt training with me at the dojo. Uh, learn how to, to fight and how to take care of yourself. Don't take shit from anybody. And if anybody messes with your family or friends, whoop their ass. Straight up. <laughs> That's what I told Jordan, and uh, when she, she she was seven and a half years in a dojo, and uh, early on in school, some guys messed with her on the bus, and she beat the shit out of them. Uh, no one ever messed with Taylor or Jordan or Junior, for that matter. I mean, Junior's a six foot two black belt that 
deadlifts 500 pounds, so they'd be in deep shit if they did. But um, I train my kids to take care of themselves as well as I do myself. And and if you uh, if you're old enough, get get a get a permit, get a gun permit. The world's full of crazy people. You don't want to go to a go to a gunfight with a with a with a stick. Okay, so uh, protect yourself. Uh, you know, this crazy world people get murdered all the time. So I usually have my 357 with me or my shotgun and lots of uh, other things that could be used as weapons self de- of self defense. I never gonna, I'm never going to attack anybody. But if some psycho tries to kill me or my family, you, you got damn right I'm going to defend my, them. So. Get strong physically, mentally, spiritually. Take care of yourself. Work hard. Build great things. And give all, give all, give all the credit to God because without him, none, none of what you see around here would be possible. And ride a two-stroke, little buddy. <laughs> ride a two-stroke. And if you can swing it, somehow get a CR500 because there's nothing like riding a CR500. Third gear tap. Dump the clutch. I don't know if that's what you expected me to say, but, um, you know, hey, I don't have a script here. I'm shooting from the hip and uh, that's I'm just speaking from the heart about what's gotten me to where I am today there's no shortcuts and there's no traffic on the extra mile having a supportive relationship is key Christie's my soulmate and my life partner and and uh, it's so important to have somebody in your house in your life that supports your dreams and is thinks the same as you do about all the things you're trying to accomplish because without that then you're you know, a house divided cannot stand. And, and Chrissy and I, we agree on pretty much everything we're doing and where yeah. we're going. We're happy. Any words of wisdom for this young man and other young men and women out there that are trying to make it? Stay positive. It may get tough, but keep going and persevere. Amen. And unless I haven't already mentioned this, absolutely do not drink alcohol or do drugs. <laughs> That's huge. I've seen so many of my, my friends go down the tubes. I saw my cousin overdose on heroin and cocaine. My dad died of alcoholism. Uh, I struggled with alcohol and uh, other substances when I was younger, but I have not drank at all since August 26, 1990. Everything you see around you, including Christy, is a direct result of me straightening my shit out and not drinking and not doing drugs. So you can work your ass off forever, but um, one one sniff of, or whatever they do with that fentanyl stuff. Uh, two yeah, of my yeah, that is bad. Seems there's some, too many people die from that. Yeah, there's some bad drugs. We're doing a fundraiser. One of my friends' kids, who was a a, a real champion, um, awesome kid. He died of fentanyl overdose, and uh, he wasn't like a regular drug user. He just did it once or twice, and he died. Um, some other people real close to me have lost family members from drugs and alcohol parents losing their kids so don't drink don't do drugs work hard stay straight set goals and, and have faith you can accomplish them that's about it for tonight we're just gonna sit and enjoy the fire here thanks for watching literally three two There's a, there's a saying that goes, with goals we create the future in advance. I'm pretty sure Tony Robbins might have coined that or I heard him say it. And that's so true. You got to have potent goals that motivate you to get up early and stay up late and make sacrifices to accomplish them and keep building on them. There's this thing called the cycle of success. Every time you succeed in something like creating the compound here, it gave me the courage to buy the abandoned factory and build the museum in it and do all the landscaping there. So start small. Think tall and jump over the wall. There's 70 truckloads of dirt in each one of those berms.
buy stuff, take care of it. Like this Mustang Saline GT ragtop convertible I bought in 1990. I've had this car 32 years. It's actually nicer than the day I bought it. Um, you know, a lot of that's being able to store it indoors, but this just is a, a testimony to um, the power of taking care of stuff. This car's worth more than it was when I bought it. Um, you buy stuff, buy nice stuff, invest in your future, but take care of it. Man, I put more wax on this thing than a candle, including taking the carpet out of the trunk and waxing the inside of the trunk so it didn't rust and the whole undercarriage has been painted. But take care of the stuff you buy. Take care of your family, take care of your assets, and invest in your future. Get a 401k. I know it's a little deep for a high school kid, but Junior's investing in Kyle and the guys. I got them all. We have a 401k plan at work. Highly recommend you invest in your future stocks because they will grow at an average of about 7% a year, 5 to 7%. And there's this thing called compound interest. Take care of the stuff you buy and protect it. And definitely get your gun permit for sure. And post it. Exercise the Second Amendment while we still have it. Not really a car guy. I like my convertible. I've had, kept it forever, but I'm more of a truck guy. I like diesel dually trucks because I can haul my big trailers with them and uh, make money with them. We haul, on average, well, about 150 bikes a month, maybe 1,500 a year. And at a cost of, if we had to pay someone 200 to 500 a piece, all the bikes that are hauled in are done by me. All the ones that are, in, and the guys, all the ones that are, that are uh, shipped out, 95% of them are subcontracted to, to James and uh, guys like him. And 1-800-HAUL-BIKES, we use them too. But you got to have the tools to do the job. And that's what those trailers are for we've been working on. And that's what these trucks are for. And take care of them. I still got my 99 GMC van and it's in mint shape still. My 87 Mustang. Take care of your stuff. Take care of yourself. Most criminals and thieves aren't stupid. They usually attack the weak. Don't be weak. The number one most important one is honesty because without honesty in a relationship, or with yourself or without honesty, you have poison is what you have. So you have to be honest with yourself and others. Christy's got a green thumb. This isn't me. I'm pretty good outside with the plants, but inside it's all her. <laughs> her does. Don't ever give up and believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and dream big. You comfy, honey? Yes, I am. Nice spot. Christy actually and I wanted a gazebo. We put one out here. Bought this out of a catalog and Dean assembled it. Came out pretty nice. Isn't that light up? Yeah, I think I need new batteries. Oh. Well, I got to get back to work now. So, thanks everybody for listening and watching. If you had to hit the subscribe button, go ahead. And hopefully, this has helped you in some way. Leave a comment if you like on how uh, how you're doing. Hope all's well out there. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.